Hi, my name is Jay. Welcome to Jay and Jane Photography. In this episode, I'm going to show you our photo shoot with Luna. She's our new pet cat. We have just had her for three weeks or so, and we just learned it's International Cat Day. <laughs> Did you know that there is such thing as International Cat Day? Well, according to Wikipedia, International Cat Day is a celebration which takes place annually on August 8th. It was created in 2002 by the International Fund for Animal Welfare. International Cat Day is also referred to as the World Cat Day in some countries, and since its inception, it has been growing worldwide. International Cat Day is a day to raise awareness for cats and learn about ways to help and protect them. Cat Day is another unofficial cat holiday observed on February 22nd that is originated in Japan and has become a social media sensation and is growing worldwide as people across the globe share their cat pictures and videos. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how we did our photo shoot earlier. Uh, it's probably August 9th by the time you watch this episode, but it doesn't matter, at least we did something for her although she didn't seem to enjoy it. <laughs> we did. Hope you enjoyed this photo shoot. I'm gonna show you how difficult it could be to photograph a cat. Here's our subject, the useful lights, the flash trigger, the camera, and a simple string to grab her attention. Oh, Luna is sleepy all day. So it's not easy. You have to wake her up. Sorry, Luna. <laughs> Just had 30 minutes to do all that. Oh. All of these props are for babies. Don't worry, you're gonna wash them before we photo shoot your baby, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> You not only have to move the camera, but you have to move the flash as well. Every time she flips around, you're gonna have to follow her and putting her back on the mat, something had to be done many times. So after about half an hour, we managed to take around 100 pictures, 97 of which I'm gonna show you most of them are not usable but i'm going to show you nonetheless because i want you to have an idea how to actually get the photo you want okay it's not a simple snapshot photo shoot like uh you know you grab two or three pictures and that's it yeah you experiment with the lights you experiment with shutter speed with the aperture that you need to capture some a little bit of motion blur you know, slow shutter didn't work this time. Okay. Composition mattered the most. Some shots are out of focus, actually half of them, and underexposed. Okay, flash didn't fire. Flash fired too hot. Yeah, all sorts of problems, yeah. So, I decided to show you all of that, just so you have an idea how we conduct photo shoots here in our little studio. So far, I've seen some pretty good shots that are usable that you know we can manage to post-process. Actually, nothing has been post-processed yet. In the next episode, I'm going to show you the process of selecting and post-processing photos. I shot everything in RAW plus JPEG format. So what you're seeing are the JPEG files that just went through the usual color grading of the video. No post-processing yet, so it's straight out of the camera, just colored it with the same color that you see right now in this video.
So if you like any particular photo, please comment below the timestamp when you saw the photo and you know tell us a little bit about it, why you like it and why you would choose the photo. If you're new to this channel, we conduct photography experiments and share lots of tips for beginning photographers. So please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't, click the bell as well to make sure you receive all the notifications about new videos and you're not gonna miss any episode here at JNJ &J Photography. Thank you for watching. See you next Snippet Thursday episode. Bye.